The new color curves correction in Final Cut Pro 10.4 gives you precise control to adjust luminance, individual red, green, and blue color channels, and even adjust a specific hue. Let's go to the video inspector and add a color curves correction to this shot. I'll use the luma curve to first expand the dynamic range of the shot. I can either drag in the endpoints, or I can add control points to create a softer change. Note that adjusting this curve has no impact on the saturation of the shot. From here, I can add more control points to precisely adjust the brightness across the entire luminance range. There's also a little too much blue in the highlights, so I'll use the blue curve to pull down the highlights. And let's toggle that correction off and on. In this next shot, I'll again use the luma curve to adjust the contrast by bringing in the endpoints and adding some additional control points. There's a little too much red in the highlights, so on the red curve, I'll bring down the top control point. But I don't want to affect the shadows, so I'll add a point here to keep them unchanged. You can see how quickly you can color balance a shot with these curves. Curves can be combined with other corrections as well. I'd like to add some saturation to this shot, so I'll add a color wheels correction and increase overall saturation with the master wheel. Let's go back to the video inspector and toggle all our effects off and on. And you aren't limited to the red, green, and blue color channels. In this shot that we corrected with the balance color effect earlier, I'll add a curves correction. I'll first use the luma curve to decrease brightness in the midtones in order to separate the sky from the clouds. Next, I want to increase the saturation of the sky, but if I adjust the blue curve, it doesn't seem to be affecting quite the right colors. We can see in the RGB parade, I'm only changing the blue channel. So I'll reset that and use the eyedropper to sample the sky. The curve color changes to aqua. A vertical line indicates the brightness of the selected area. Notice if I click here, I get a mini wheel where I can select any hue to work with. I'll undo that. Now I can increase the brightness and saturation of just this selected hue. Let's toggle that correction off and on. To learn more about how to use these powerful new features, check out our advanced color correcting in Final Cut Pro 10.4 tutorial at RippleTraining.com.